So before I do my next tutorial on Classic Ladder, I want to go over real quick about user-defined M codes. Now, user-defined M codes allow you to perform various tasks within Linux CNC while you're running your programs that the standard M code list does not let you do. So if you look on the left, you have your M code list, your M0, M1, M2, M30, M60, M3, M4, M5, M6, blah, blah, blah. So for the most part, you have all of the M codes that you would need from a basic standpoint. But then there's going to be times where you have to do things that are a little bit out of the box. So in my case, I'm defining an M code that allows me to pass HAL commands within my Linux CNC program to Classic Ladder to essentially pulse on and off a value within Classic Ladder that gives me an input for this value right here. Now this little box is a custom parts counter that I'll be covering in one of my classic ladder tutorials. So this value right here, I needed to pass information through Linux CNC to classic ladder to essentially count up. And in this case here, I'm using M189. And we could see that when the count goes to one, the count is finished, and I get this little red and green flashing LED. If I hit count reset, it goes back to black. If I override my count here and I say 10 pieces, if I do a count override down here to nine pieces in my current part count, call up an M189, and you'll see that it flashes again. Count reset. I can do a count reset here, which will essentially bring my counter back to zero. It doesn't show here. I have to figure out how to do that. But as soon as I do an M189, you'll see that it brings the count back to one. M189 counts up to two. M189, three, and so on override my count to 9, M189, and I get my red and green flashing light. Being that it's Christmas time, the green and red is uh, it's a nice little holiday touch, I guess. The, um, the ladder circuitry for this will also stop the machine while it's in automatic operation. So if I go into my auto menu and I call up my auto file which is just a dwell with an M189 and an M99 repeat. Uh, I understand M98 and M99 is new to Linux CNC. So those that aren't aware, M98 is a Fanuc style subprogram call, and M99 is a Fanuc style subprogram exit or program repeat. So if you need to loop your program over and over and over, you would use an M99 at the bottom of your program instead of an M30. And the M99 will just rewind the program and continue, rewind, and continue. So that's what is going on here in my program. I have a two-second dwell, M189 to count my parts counter, M99 to loop my program. So if I had a long program, say we're, say we're programming a CNC lathe and we have a long piece of bar stock inside of our uh, lathe spindle and we are making a piece, cutting it off, doing a bar pull to the next part, make the second part, part it off, bar pull to the next part. You can calculate how many parts you can get per length of material, put that into your your set counter here if I just do an override to zero you can it, it does the, the count override zero does the same as a count reset but it brings the values back to zero we'll be able to make 20 pieces unattended when we come back the machine is stopped we have our 20 pieces and we have our count finish LED blinking to let us know that the machines ready for a new piece of material we can load in a new bar, cycle start, and let it do its thing. 
and part counters are used extensively in production environments so that's why I wanted to try to put something together to kind of mimic that functionality because essentially you know a, a lot of us yeah we're, we're working in our basements or what have you but there's a lot of people that are retrofitting large industrial machines with Linux CNC so it's taking it's taking a step more towards the the industrial uh, center stage really it's, it's coming out into the industrial uh, mainstream so things like this are going to be needed for people who are retrofitting older machines and the customer says hey um, where's my where's my parts counter how do I set a parts counter what if I want to put a bar feeder on my machine or something like that um, this is the first step into getting into that that particular facet of the industry if you will so again just a, just a brief example and this is again this is going to be part of my next classic ladder tutorial series this is a uh, very well for me it was a very complicated thing to do so I'm gonna have to work at it a few times before I kinda show you guys how to do it but here I will give you I'll give you a briefie so if I hit run program you'll see that every two seconds the counter is going to count up to make life a little bit quicker I'll set it to 17 I'll override it we'll do 19 20 and you see that the machine stops so to do that to assign that M code what I had to do initially was go into mousepad once we have mousepad open we can start putting in the information that we need for our M code I have one already predefined with the header and footer in order to use uh, bash commands which allow you to pass hal commands you have to put in this header of pound exclamation slash bin slash bash the M code will end with an exit zero and for this example we're just going to send a hal command with a set p classic ladder dot zero dot in dash o five and set that to true we'll save the M code the file uh, the file folder that I have my M codes in is under Linux CNC NC files I have it set under M codes the M codes have to follow a specific file format they have to have a capital letter and then under properties under permissions they have to have this allow to run as a program the standard M code location is just the NC file folder to get it to this M code folder I created the folder I copied the file location and then in my configuration in the INI file if we go down to the RS 274 NGC section this user empath equals and then the location of our folder this allows the system to know what M code folder to look for once you've created an M code exit out of Linux CNC reload it to reestablish the M code directory and the available M codes for the system we'll home out go to our trusty HAL configuration tool under pins classic ladder input 5 
We'll see that it's set to false right now. We'll add that to our watch list. We'll go to MDI, M100, and you'll see that it goes true. I don't have an M code to turn it off. You can't do set P commands here, I tried. <laughs> but if we wanted to create another M code, all we'd have to do is just copy our M100, set it to M101, or change the file name to M101, then change the inside information to from true to false for that particular input. And then we would have M100, M101 functionality similar to controlling outputs with M64, M65. But in my case, I can use a single M code linking to a HAL pin, turning it on, turning it off, and then I have an M code to just pulse and use for my counter. To give you a quick, quick, quick little tease of what's coming up, this is the ladder program that I've got running for my parts counter. You'll see here I've got my count. I have a preset count right now of 1. If I change this value to 10, and hit count set, I now have a preset of 10. If I do a count override, you'll see that the current parts counter changes. You'll see that each button has its own I.O. And I'm using two outputs to control machine off and to control the LED. But I'm also using float assignments for I.O. to Linux CNC. So we will dig deep into this because there's a lot to there's a lot to take in with all of the commands that we need for this to work. And then we could do a quick overview of the Glade VCP interface that I built for this to work. So I hope that is a helpful little introduction to M codes for everybody. Um, if you haven't done it, it's a little bit tricky to get it to work. You have to do a little bit of Google searching in order to figure out all of the little nuances. So I wanted to try to try to help out uh, those that are looking to do just just those special little things that that I have to do or that you'll want to do and not have to do all the Google searching. So thanks again for watching. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.